I so wanted to love this book. I got books I love, books I hate, and books that hurt me with sads. This is that. Skirting the Ice is an original gender swap on the classic nerd athlete trope. Our gal Murphy returns to town to kickstart a professional hockey team. Our hero Jack is the nerdy next door BFF neighbor that she crushed on as a teen. Quite honestly, Jack got me jacked up. Hot heroes are a dime a dozen in romance land. But cute heroes? They are rare. And ours has asthma. Cliché? Maybe. But getting a dude with a health issue was a breath of fresh air. And it wasn't said dressing either. Cause his like breathing attacks actively affected his life. I loved getting the originality for him. And the heroine got originality too. Mervy plays no games as an alpha trick in pursuit. Gal knows what she wants and she's hella confident going after it. Whether that's a cocky team or her crush. These two characters were so fun, both on their own and as an OTP. Exhibit A, that paint scene. The two pups have a paint fight that results in a giggle fit. And oh my God, it melted my heart. Much love for that scene I did have. So you like the characters and the OTP. Okay, why in the hell are you hating? Well, lots of reasons. For one, ye got that editing. Within three sentences, I swear to God, the same word would repeat five times. But I could overlook that. Hell, I could even overlook the skimmed over sex scenes. They barely lasted three pages with vague purple prose. Yeah. But hey, sometimes authors aren't comfy with pound pound, so I could get comfy with it. But I am so not cool with casual slut shaming. Other female characters are described as dressing slutty, and the hero's ex is literally called a harlot. A harlot? Can you hear my sigh? <laughs> but you know, I can grit through problematic shit. No, I don't like it, but I could shove on through it, so long as the central conflict ain't bullshit. Whoops, it is. This book's big honking problem is the fact that the leads have the insecurities of teenagers. Oh joy, just what I wanted to read in my adult romance. Murphy worries she ain't smart enough. Jack worries he ain't manly enough. And oh my god, ugh. <sighs> If we were in a YA book, then I would be totally understanding. But these mofos are in their mid to late 20s. If you can't be secure enough in who you are, then you damn sure ain't secure enough to have a relationship. Yes, we all have insecurities, but the degree to which this isolates and separates our OTB was redonkerous. Was she worth the price of the damage she was inflicting on his self-esteem? It's called self-esteem, jackass. This is literally not about her. Also, am I the only one that thought that sentence sounded hella weird? Worth the price of the damage. I just, I, mm, I'm not a writer. If that weren't bad enough, the conflict gets resolved so quick that I got whiplash. Before the OTP lock, Mr. Plot Mop it in the trunk. Oh, FYI, that wouldn't work. Since 2002, all trunks are legally required to have a glow-in-the-dark emergency release. This 2016 book never once mentioned that the model was older than 2002. But our author could have known that if she had researched. Mmm, quit your shade. But I digress out the ass, as I always do. Like two seconds before that, you know, trunk stalker locking situation, bam, that hero randomly, surprisingly, all of a sudden got over his insecurities. Yay! It is really hard to write a well written epiphany. And this book did not do that at all. But even with all of that, I'd still be willing to give this a pass had it not committed the ultimate literary sin. Drum roll, please. Unrealistic internal dialogue. He wasn't going to argue, but he did plan to mess with the guy. He planned to mess with him right upside his stupid head. Stupid head? What the f Stupid head. Stupid head. Stupid head? Are we sure this book ain't a YA? That is not how humans talk in 2016. Quite honestly, skirting the ice just doesn't work for me. Individually, none of that is a deal breaker. 
but together it was a death by way of a thousand guts. I wanted to love the book because yay nerd heroes and yay athlete heroines. But craptastically enough, our hero read more like a awkward teenager. Hell, he literally jaw drops and stammers over Murphy's nudity. After having slept with the woman! And worse yet, the athlete heroine didn't athlete. We never really got to see her kick ass on the ice rink. Not once, hardly ever, at all. Most of her time is just spent house remodeling. House remodeling. Yes, that's what I signed up for and when I picked up this book. But the whole thing isn't a waste of time. The thing had some genuinely sweet moments in it. Anytime Murphy needed Jack, that dude was right there for her. She gets a problem, he wants to help. So I give Jack credit for the fact that he's not a knuckle-dragging Neanderthal. Hell, I even kind of liked Murphy. I mean, I didn't hate her, and I didn't hate this book, or the pacing, or the characters. I just don't have any feelings one way or the other. I'm not mad. I'm just really, really sad. And now I'm gonna go boo-hoo. Uh, was this review a waste of time? I feel like maybe it was. I don't know. Reviewing books that don't really hit the anger or the fangirl mark is really difficult. You don't have anything one way or the other to say, but you feel like you need to say something, but you don't know what to say. I gotta say though, that cover totally caught my eye. I'm here for cute romance novel covers. And now I don't have any more words to word. Yep, that's about all my allotment for today.